In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at um, a great new measurement that's available in AWR version 2009, the constant output power family of measurements. Um, now, the way we're going to approach this is by looking at a specific example that's available in uh, the download for version 2009. This is the high power BJT amplifier example. And uh, if you've been using AWR for any length of time, you're probably well familiar with this example. It's been in the software for some time. And it's it's one of my favorites because it's just so flexible. And it's, uh, it's amazing how many different aspects of electrical engineering in general, uh, RF and microwave design in particular, you can show through this example. And, and it just keeps uh, building and building over time. So I, I love coming back to this example because it's it's just so easy to show. Um, how uh, new features in the software can really help do design. And in fact, we'll probably come back to this example in another video uh, to show some of the other measurement capabilities um, in Microwave Office and in the AWR design environment because it is just such a great example and it's been updated uh, recently to show a lot of these new features. But in this uh, video, we're going to talk about constant output power. And uh, I'm just taking the example as it is right out of the, right out of the box. And um, so what we're going to do is look at a, a, a power amplifier measurement. And oftentimes when you're doing power amplifiers, it's all fine and good to be able to look at what happens, so let's say, across a frequency band with constant input power. But um, in many occasions, we really want to look at what it takes or how the amplifier performs when we're driving it to a constant output power. And that's what uh, we've been able to deliver in this release of the AWR design environment. So to enable this, um, we've done some traditional measurements here and simulations using the way you would normally set it up. Um, so let me just pull up one of these here. Um, so here's our um, here's our uh, schematic for the constant output power sweep. And if we look at that schematic over here, you can see that um, typically we would sweep some variables either directly on the uh, source or through um, some swept analysis to get uh, the type of analysis that we'd want. But in this case, we're sweeping the um, the input power, we're not really controlling the output power, and we're sort of at the whim of what the amplifier is going to do to us over frequency and over those power levels where the gain may variable, vary as a function of power and the gain may vary as a function of frequency. But we can set up the same analysis now in the 2009 release where we're telling it specifically to hold that constant output power. And the way we do that is with this block over here, const p out. And it allows us to specify the input and output port, the output power we'd like to have, and how we want to measure that output power, which is quite important. So if we're just interested in the fundamental, either because we're going to have some filtering or because that's the way we'd like to characterize the amplifier, we can do that through this um, measurement parameter as well as the function set up here. Um, or we can have it specify that over all frequencies, or sorry, over all um, harmonics. Um, or we can make this um, function more complicated down here in terms of um, we can look at uh, frequency one, we can look at the second harmonic, the third harmonic, whatever combination of those we'd like to look at, we can do that as well. Now the way this manifests itself is if we look at the um, um, results that we would get for this, if we go down to the graphs here, we have um, a power added efficiency, let's say for a single tone measurement that we would normally get for, um, for the uh, swept input power. Um, so we can um, specify what the input power we want to look at, and we can look at the results for PAE, for DC to RF, for total out power out or gain or any one of the um, nonlinear measurements that are supported in the AWR design environment. But the key thing here is that this is input power and we need to somehow relate it to output power. And um, you can see how much it varies over the, um, the swept power range. Now, if we're very interested in the constant output power uh, measurements, we can go and look at uh, what those look like, and then we can plot these because of that const p out block on the schematic. And we can see that our power output is holding steady at 38, and we can see the effect that holding that constant output power has across the band for our input power. We can see that it is, it is not constant and does vary quite a bit, as a matter of fact. And this is purely because the gain is going to vary um, as a function of the input power, because after all, we're driving this into saturation. It is a power amplifier, and we, we may want to use it in terms of a, a nonlinear operation to get the uh, as close to PSAT as possible, for example. And with that, we can see that the power added efficiency is also being affected. Um, so this is a great new measurement capability, const p out. You put that block down on your schematic and you're able to take the measurements uh, in this fashion. Again, if you set it up in that sort of test bench type environment, you can use the same circuit in two different ways with a swept input power or with a, a constant uh, power out 
uh, capability like we have here. And you can use the two together, uh, just as I showed here. Well, if you'd like more information about this, there's information on the website. Um, there's additional information that's available when you download the latest release, uh, or you can always contact your AWR sales professional.